What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to try and explain how to do inhale lows. Um, inhale screams are completely different than outward screams. No matter what anybody tells you, you are not using your diaphragm to do inhale screams because you are not forcing air out, you are pulling air in. So you can't exactly work it like that. Um, one thing with the inward screams is that whenever you're trying to do them, you're not going to force the air in too forcefully because it's again it's not like the outward and you don't want to really tear up your throat by doing that because if you do it too forcefully it can cut up your vocal cords and jack them up and everything so you just gotta let it be a nice smooth um, inhale so anyway what you want to do first is try and get the mouth motion down and the throat the throat uh, formation the mouth for the low you want to have it in like a circle shape a circle like an O um, so it's like like that and then your throat you want to open up your airway your whole throat airway and then just pretty much breathe in what people sound like what I've heard from when they're first starting out and trying to learn they'll kind of sound like uh, uh, like like that you know I can't really do it because you know it just goes right to but anyway they'll uh, make that sort of noise or uh, just breathe in a lot of air uh, and that's that is kind of the concept that you want. You just kind of have to learn how to manipulate that into the scream that you're trying to produce. Um, so whenever you're going, <gasps> just, <gasps> just, you got to learn how to manipulate it. And it does take a lot of time. So if you don't sound good when you first do it, just keep practicing, keep practicing. You will get better. <clears throat> and for good practice, for, well, for the low, um, like I said, you want to keep your mouth circularized and your throat is open. So it's going to sound, <laughs> that's, you know, pretty simple. So, I mean, you did just keep practicing. I'm going to keep emphasizing that you got to keep practicing. So don't let it get you down if you ain't sounding right or if you can't do it after a couple weeks. Um, it took me, it took me a while to f figure out how to do it, to learn it. Um, but a good practice is when you do get it down to try the, um, the A E I O U, I forgot what those things are called, but it's not important. Just A E I O U. That's good practice because it helps you to learn how to enunciate the words clear. And once you can do that and it sounds good, you can pretty much do anything with the N words. Um, so hopefully, you know this. Hopefully, this video helped you guys. Um, it's my first video of how to do this, so if it's not that great it'll be fine um, but stay tuned because I'm gonna be putting more videos up of how to inhale high how to inhale low and high breeze and then I also created my own type of inhale scream which is pretty pretty cool sounding I must say but um, well I've never heard it before so I say it's my own but um, also after I do my inhale segments I'm gonna be do starting my outward outward scream videos so if you have any questions or comments or concerns, just leave it in the comment section below. Um, Alright, I guess that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.